Hello, and welcome back to our motion tutorial series. Today, we're going to supercharge your productivity by enhancing tasks with customization. We'll explore how to use task templates and custom fields to tailor motion to your workflow. Plus, we'll show you how motion intelligently groups tasks using this information to build the most optimal and efficient schedule for you and everyone on your team. Ready to become a hundred times more productive? All right, let's dive in. Section one, streamlining your work with task templates. Let's talk about task templates your secret weapon for saving time and ensuring consistency. Why use task templates? Because they're perfect for tasks that don't belong in a project, they're ideal when multiple team members need to execute on the same process, and because it ensures that everybody's on the same page every time. Remember, for tasks that belong in a project, consider using project templates or project workflow templates instead. More on those later. Example scenario. Imagine you receive a client request for a landing page revision. Instead of creating a new task from scratch every time, you can use a task template with all the necessary instructions and assignees pre-filled. How to create a template from an existing task. You can select any task, for example, this one right here, open the task, click on the three dots icon in the task window, and select Save as Template. This will open up the Save Template dialog. From here, you can give the template a name, like Optimize Contact for SEO, and click on Create Template. That creates a template into the Client Engagements workspace. And whenever I create a task, I will be able to use that template. How to create a new task template from scratch? Well, it's easy. You can go to Settings by clicking on the gear icon, then select a workspace like Client Engagements, go to Task Templates, and create a new template. Here, we're going to create a template for a landing page revision. We're going to make sure that it's always assigned to Benjamin because he's the one that does that. It usually takes about 45 minutes to do, and I don't want it to be chunked. I'm gonna give the template a name of landing page revision, and I'll click Save to save that template. And voila, you've created a task template. Now we have these three templates that I can use. Let's see how we're gonna use it in real life. I'm gonna go back to Motion here on the calendar, and I'm gonna create a new task. I'm gonna click on the Add Task button. I'm going to select the correct workspace, which is the Client Engagements workspace. I'm going to use the landing page revision template by clicking on this icon here to use template. As soon as I click that icon, you can see that the title is set up, it's assigned to Benjamin for 45 minutes. You can also add a task description if that's what you need to do. And as soon as I save the task, it's gonna to go to Benjamin's calendar for him to do whenever motion schedules it for him. By using task templates, you streamline your workflow, you save valuable time, and you ensure consistency across your team, making sure you deliver your work at a high level. Section two, tailoring tasks with custom fields. Now we're gonna elevate your task management with custom fields, a powerful way to tailor motion to your unique workflow. Why use custom fields? Because you wanna add layers of structure to your tasks and projects, because you wanna capture the exact information you need in a structured manner, because you wanna organize tasks and projects like a CRM directly within Motion, or because you wanna enhance transparency and accessibility amongst your teammates. What are some common uses for custom fields? One, people use custom fields as an organizational layer. Custom fields allow you to group your tasks and projects by milestones, initiatives, clients, or regions. Basically, anything you want to group by. An example would be to add a client name field to track which client each task is for. To track metadata. For example, say you wanna track the cost an invoice ID or document links for your tasks and projects, custom fields is the perfect way to do that. For example, say you want to create a budget number field to track project costs. Creating a custom field is easy. We're gonna go to workspace settings. We're gonna navigate to our client engagements workspace again. And we're gonna click on custom field. Here you can see I've already set up two custom fields, one for client and one to indicate whether that client has paid or not. If you wanna create a new custom field, you just click on the Add Custom Field button right here in the UI. You give it a name. Make sure the name is descriptive. And you can choose for one of these following types. Let's go to You can use text for flexible entries like names or IDs. You can do select or multi-select for categories like region or project phase. You can do person to associate team members to a task or project. You can do URL to link external documents. You can do a number for any numeric things that you might want to track, budgets, metrics, anything like that. You can then name your field, save it. I'm not going to save it because I already have two here. And then I'm going to show you how to use it. Adding custom fields to tasks or projects. When you're creating or editing a task or project, your custom fields will appear right on the UI. Let me show you. If I create a new task and I go to the client engagements workspace, you will see that I have an option to choose a client or to indicate if the client has paid or not. The same is true when you add a project. If I create a new project from scratch, 
you will see that if I pick the client engagements workspace, I can select the client and I can select whether they pay. So now let's talk about organization. How do custom fields help you organize your tasks and projects? I'm gonna click on all tasks over here, which is a new thing for you guys. You haven't seen this yet. This shows me an overview of all tasks in motion from all my workspace and all my projects. You will see here, as I scroll the view, I can see all the fields that apply to a task or a project. If I keep scrolling, you can see that my projects have a client and a paid field. If I wanna organize my projects by client, I can click on my group by control and I can switch the workspace to client. And that shows all my projects grouped by client. Now let's talk about when to use a custom field and when to use a label. First off, what is a label? Labels are quick unstructured tags that you can use to better visualize and organize your projects and tasks. For more structured organization and layering, Motion supports custom fields. What is a custom field? A custom field is a way to add structure to your tasks and projects. It's a way to add structured data that is official and it's easy to track and manage across your workspace. A common way to use labels, for example, is to tag tasks and projects with relevant metadata before you even know what to do with it. Over time, you will find yourself consolidating labels into custom fields once the metadata is useful enough to make it an official custom field. With task templates and custom fields in place, Motion does its magic behind the scene. It uses all this rich information to logically group tasks based on your customizations, optimize your schedule for maximum efficiency, and to help you focus on what matters most, making you exponentially more productive. Imagine having an AI-powered assistant that knows exactly how you like to work and organizes your tasks accordingly. That's what Motion brings to the table. That's it, congratulations. You've just unlocked the power of enhancing tasks with customization in Motion. By utilizing task templates and custom fields, you're not only saving time, but you're also tailoring Motion to fit your team's unique workflow. Remember, Motion is designed to help you work smarter, not harder. By providing it with detailed information, you're enabling Motion to build the most optimal and efficient schedule for you and your team. And that's all from me today. Happy scheduling. Bye-bye. See you on the next one.